Adobe Mercury Transmit gives I.O. hardware partners such as AJA, Blackmagic Design, Bluefish 444, and Matrox direct access to the Mercury playback engine so you can experience better playback and performance and stability on these devices than ever before. And when using external monitors, you'll get full screen playback while maintaining all of the real-time benefits of the Mercury playback engine. Imagine seeing color corrections and other Mercury GPU-enabled effects playing full screen and in real time. It's important to understand that the enhanced version of the CS6 playback engine delivers outstanding performance for those users with or without a GPU. Let's take a closer look at the hardware and transmit controls. Here on this HP desktop, I've actually got a Bluefish card inside the machine, so let's go over to playback controls and take a closer look. The first thing you'll notice when I go to my video settings is I've got a Bluefish 444 setting and a setup switch. I'll go ahead and click on that switch and you'll notice that the Bluefish driver actually gives me additional controls so I can take advantage of the hardware. So let's take a look at what this looks like on the SDI monitor. So if you look at the SDI monitor, you'll see it's within perfect sync, pretty much exactly what you'd expect to see. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and you'll notice that it plays back and you can actually monitor sound on the SDI the monitor or straight through Premiere Pro. Feet. To put that now what happens when I go ahead and start turning on things like titles and things like that? Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this title layer and you'll see the Hot Wheels logo appear right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and you're actually going to notice that the title plays in full screen and in real time. So you'll also notice that on the timeline here, the timeline remains yellow, which means no need to render. The hardware is handling everything exactly like it should. And that's the power of Mercury Transmit. It's allowing all of the Mercury playback engine to go right through the third-party card. Now, what happens if I want to apply an effect here? I'm going to go up to my effects controls. And let's turn on this basic 3D setting. I've already got some keyframes set here, and just play that back. And if we look at the SDI monitor, you'll notice that all of that control comes right through. Now, the great thing about working this way is now I can actually go in and start noodling around and getting the exact look that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt this back just a little bit and play this back in real time. I could actually lay this down to tape. This is huge. We've never had this before. Now, what if I have a Macintosh laptop? Let's take a look at what that scenario might look like. I'm going to go ahead and wake up my Mac laptop. And what I have in this particular setup is I've got a third-party uh, Thunderbolt device connected, which is the AJA box. And you'll also notice that I've got the Blackmagic Ultra Studio 3D. Matrox has got their line of MXO devices. And there's other devices you can actually connect as well. I'm going to go ahead and just switch over to the Mac laptop on my SDI display. So I've now got the output coming from here, and I'm going to go ahead and just hit the space bar to play. I've got all this working through Thunderbolt, and that's connected to my G-RAID, my Thunderbolt G-RAID, going to the AJA card. You see the AJA is actually monitoring. And I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. Now, the other great thing you'll notice about Transmit is that it also works with other Adobe apps. I'm going to go ahead and tab over to Adobe Prelude wind this back, and you'll notice that I've got full screen playback coming through Adobe Prelude. What about programs like Encore? Let's tab over to Encore, and you'll notice Encore will appear on the SDI monitor as well. I'll hit play, and it starts to come through. What about previewing things like uh, DVDs or Blu-rays? I'll click on the preview button here. And you'll notice that I've got full screen output over here. I'll go to Scene Selection. Scene 1, and I've got DVD preview playing just like it should on the monitor. And that's the power of Adobe Mercury Transmit. Make sure to check out the Mercury Transmit options at your local pro video audio integrator or reseller anywhere these third-party cards are sold and supported.